Hey everybody, what's up? Tim here with this week's Faith on Fire post. I hope wherever you are, you are doing phenomenal. You're watching God show up and do awesome things in your life. So the title for today's shoot is Pray with Power. And this is based off of Psalm 23, 91, 101, 103, 35, 37, Psalm 1, whatever Psalm you love, you can apply this principle to. So how do you pray with power? How do we pray where we get better results and we see God show up in our lives in a greater and greater way? Now, I love prayer. I think it's about intimacy and about communication and all those things are important. But when I pray, I also want results. And when I made this one simple adjustment, this one simple change, I found that the results to my prayers increased significantly and I started to pray in greater to greater degrees of power. Now, I don't have this perfected. I don't have this mastered, but it made a huge difference. And it led me into a position of feeling like not only was God hearing me, but he was going to answer and that things were going to change. So if you want to pray in power, I challenge you to practice what I'm going to teach you in the next couple minutes. So simply to pray in power, all you do is you take God's word and you start to pray it over yourself and over the situation. And instead of taking the problem to God right out the gate, and instead of talking about how massive the problem is and how humongous the problem is, you start to talk to God about how his word is true and how his word is at work. And by doing that, it totally reframes the way that prayer works. Now, I'm not saying you don't go once again and dump your heart out before God. I've done that. I still do that. But I found that when I pray in this manner, really cool things show up. So how you do this is, let's say you've got a difficulty or a challenge that you're struggling with. What I do, for example, is you go to Psalm 23 and say, what does Psalm 23 say? Well, Psalm 23 says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That simple verse alone, you can go to God and you say, God, I've got this situation going on, but I'm not going to exalt that. I'm going to put the magnification on your word. I'm going to say your word is true, whether I believe it or not, whether I see it or not. And your word says in Psalm 23 that you are my shepherd, I shall not want. Therefore, I believe that's true. I pray that over me. I shall not want for anything. My kids shall not want for anything. I shall not want my finances. I shall not want my relationships. I shall not want in my career or in my job. I shall not want. And from there, you can just take that psalm and you can unpack it. You lead me beside still waters. You bring me into green meadows. You restore my soul. God, I believe I'm restored. God, I believe I'm in green pastures. I believe I'm beside still waters. I believe you lead me in the right path for your namesake. Therefore, I believe, oh God, that you're going to show me the way to go in this situation. You're going to show me what to do. You're going to show me what to say. You're going to show me the actions that I take. Now, how much more powerful is that? And going, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to say. I can't believe this isn't going to work out. God, if you don't show up, I'm going under. Look, he already knows that. You already know that. But when we step out on his word, when we pray his word over ourselves and over the situation, that's coming to God in a higher level of faith, a greater degree of faith. And you're saying, God, I believe what you said is true in this situation. And I believe you're going to show up and you're going to be faithful to your word. And that is humongous because the word said, God responds to faith. Faith pleases God. So once again, for that situation, Lord, you are my shepherd. You lead me beside green pastures and still waters. Therefore, I have peace. You show me the way to go. You lead me a path of righteousness for your name's sake. Even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, even if I walk through the valley of destruction, I'm not afraid, God. My cup runs over. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Therefore, I believe no matter what the situation is, I'm going to be blessed. I believe I'm going to have more than enough because my cup runs over. Your goodness and mercy follow me every day. Therefore, I'm going to see your goodness and mercy. Therefore, no matter how bad the day looks, you're going to change it. You're going to show up and you're going to make something awesome of what wasn't awesome before. And when you start praying that psalm over your life every day, you just wake up and you pray it. God, you are my shepherd. I shall not want. You lead me uh, beside still waters. You restore my soul. My cup runs over. You just start praying that line by line. It only takes five minutes man, you're going to see the results change. You're going to see God show up in such a dynamic way. And you can do that for Psalm 91 for protection. You can do that for Psalm 1 if you're looking to succeed or prosper in a certain area. You can do that with Psalm 34, 35, 37, Psalm 101, 103. All of those are awesome Psalms. So to increase your prayer power, start to pray God's word over your life, over the life of your loved ones, over the situations, over your career, your finances, your health, your fitness, no matter what it is. When you start praying those Psalms, those are true. God's going to show up. He's going to invade that area and he's going to be faithful and do things you can't even possibly imagine. So, and the way to pray with power is to pray God's word over the situation day after day after day. And it only takes five to 10 minutes, but when you do it, he is going to show up and he's going to show up big time. So this is Tim with this week's Faith on Fire. Hope you found that helpful. Have an awesome day to pray with power, pray his word over your situation, and he will be faithful to it. 
Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.